Hey everyone and welcome back to another Unreal tutorial. So in this video we're going to add in our first spawner class. This is going to be our spawner base um, and as we've seen previously now a few times this will be the parent of a few classes that will come afterwards uh, as parents normally are. So what we're going to do is go to our blueprints folder. We will add a new folder in here and we'll call this one spawners and inside of the spawners folder we want to create another actor so just a standard blueprint class actor and we'll call this one the bp underscore spawner base okay so this is going to be quite a simple class basically we will be putting in a few very generic things in this class such as the type of actor to be spawned the number of actors required to be spawned to fill the screen for instance and a couple of functions so this should be a fairly quick video now there's only two functions we're actually going to need in this now i know this because i've created a project ahead of time to just test that everything works uh, but also with some base classes like this we can kind of get an idea of what we need to do so we're looking for the most generic things that all child classes will need so the most generic things that the child classes of a spawner base class will need will be the ability to spawn an object because it's a spawner uh, and probably some way to manage an object or a floor or whatever you've spawned when it needs to be taken out of the world on that assumption at the moment we're going to create two functions so if we go to the functions the first one is going to be our spawn actor and the second function we're going to make is going to be spawn actor hit or actually i'm going to call this one spawn actor hit bounds because we already know that in the level manager we have a, a kind of boundary collider ready and then there's going to be two variables that we need the first one is going to be the type of actor that we want to spawn so if we create a new variable and we want to go over to the type and we want to make this an actor but where in the past we've had a reference to a specific actor which would be the object reference we actually want to make this slightly more generic so that we can plug anything in this and we're going to make this a class reference instead so if we make this a class reference and then rename this variable to be spawn actor type finally like i said the only other thing is going to be uh, controlling how many actors need to be spawned to fill the level so this is going to be an integer and i'm just going to call this one actors required and in fact i've just went ahead and called that actors required count just to uh, make it a little bit clearer what this means so i'm going to change this from the actor type to an integer and there we have the the main components of our base class the final things that we need to account for will be when the spawned actor hit bounds function is called this is only really going to be called in the child classes because each child is going to do something slightly different and unique uh, with what they need to do with that object when it hits the boundary so all we're going to do here is we're going to add an input i'm going to call this the out of bounds actor and we're going to change this to be just a standard actor reference again so we'll find the type of actor choose the blue option which is the object reference and that means that whenever the child classes need to call this uh, we already have an argument ready for that but we're going to leave this function completely blank because there's no default logic or functionality we want to happen on every single type of object that gets recycled or destroyed and then the spawned actor function is actually really simple so if we go ahead and move into this function and we can fill this one out straight away so this is going to be very generic the first thing we want to do is whenever this function is called so this is going to be what handles creating an actor and this is going to be very very standard and generic across all classes that we have spawned uh, we want to of course spawn actor of class so spawn actor from class the type of class that we want to spawn is going to be our spawn actor type so we already have that available and we can plug that in so this is what i mean we've left this quite generic so we don't need to know in the parent class what's being spawned but the child classes will have this overridden and on that note we're going to put these in the the map so we need to make sure both of these are public so that we can edit this before we press play on the level and then we're just going to spawn this at a default location and a simple way to do this is you can either get the uh the transform of this actor or we can just split this and we'll split the structure pin because each child class again will be controlling this depending on what the the logic dictates and kind of have an override for this and all i've done the reason i've split this is that if we didn't do that and we hit compile it's going to say that there's an error because we need a transform and this is kind of a quick way that we can just split the structure pin out and it will default this to zero zero and one for the scale so that just saves us creating extra nodes and stuff so it's a bit of a shortcut if you don't need to specifically say where something needs to spawn 
and then that's pretty much it but we just want to add a return node and we will return here a little bit later in the series to add some extra logic it's only a small thing and it's going to make a lot more sense when we get to that stage so we're going to skip that for now but we just want to return out of this function so if we add a return node and all we want to plug in we're going to give an argument to return and that's going to be the actor that's just been spawned because again this is going to be used in the child classes so that's pretty much everything and uh, now what this does is if we save that if we drag one of these into the world we have our sphere so we can see where it is and we can see over here we have the exposed variables that we've made so we can say that uh, for this type of class or these things that we want spawned into the world we want 10 of them before this is finished and that the type of actor we want to spawn we can then select from any of the current valid classes we have in the project so for instance here we can call in the, uh, the floor middle class or something and and that would be the class if this function is being called of course that would be spawned in so all of that logic uh, because again that is going to be more bespoke and specific to the child classes uh, we will be calling the spawn actor function in the child classes rather than from the base class so in fact with that done that is the base class completely wrapped up and ready to go so i'll leave that video here for today as always if you enjoyed these videos or find them useful please do leave a like and share the video around that always helps and of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel and as ever thanks for watching and i will see you all next time